All right, this is Mr. Rife, and I have trekked out to the top of Palisade Head, north of Duluth, up by uh, the past two harbors in Lake Beaver Bay and Silver Bay. In fact, you can see them way over there, behind my shoulder. Uh, but, and I'm here to teach a lesson about succession. Check out the view. This is Palisade Head. These are the Sawtooth Mountains. You see a little bump there and a little bump there. Sawtooth Mountains run up and down the North Shore. But I'm here to talk to you about primary succession. So I'm standing on top of a rock, and there's all sorts of exposed rock on top of this big lump of rock. I mean, it's just sitting in the middle, well, off to the side of the lake. But if we look at this rock, we see that there are cracks here. And the cracks come from weather. So rain, wind, it's causing, you know, you know we have this like frost wedging where, the, where the, the water will go in there, it'll freeze and it'll expand and it'll crack open that rock. And so this rock is really worn down. Okay, and you can see these like blotches here. This is old lichens and here we have new lichens and they're living in this crack and then all of a sudden we have a tree. So what's happening here is these rocks are cracking up. There's plants and mosses and lichens and they're and the wind and the weather are breaking this this rock down and what ends up dying becomes organic matter so we have some smaller rocks here we have some lichens and some mosses and they're creating this dirt after they die and they go through the life cycle so that dirt is great because then we can have stuff like grass and more trees and forests Okay, and they're all living on top of this rock, but they they need that organic matter and they need those cracks to to develop. And so we end up changing this ecosystem. We end up getting a new ecosystem from this big lumpy rock. That Okay, so this is Lake Saganaga. This is we're about maybe 3 miles from the Canadian border on the very end of the Gunflint Trail. North, in the northern Arrowhead region of Minnesota. And as you can see, not a whole lot of, of living stuff. Um, 19, or, I'm sorry, 1999 there was a blowdown. 90 mile an hour winds knocked over a lot of trees. And those trees were then consumed in the Ham Lake Fire of 2007. So we've got all of this dead timber that's rotting and we have all these tree stumps but secondary succession actually let me show you this one this is a all sorts of lichen that are just decomposing this tree right now if you look around I mean I'm standing on moss and the moss is just it's oh it's so squishy but these trees are all De being decomposed right now, but in their place, we start to see these little, you see this little stand of aspen trees, these popple trees, and uh, if you look down there, we've got all sort more sorts of popple trees. If you look off in the distance, there were some trees that didn't burn. You see those golden ones out there? Those are tamaracks, and these are trees that are kind of starting, kickstarting the next ecosystem to come up. Here's a little pine sapling. Those things, that thing right there, in about 50 years, is going to be about 40 feet tall if nobody steps on it, which, no, I'm not going to do it. And the rest of this area will be this enormously huge fir tree and pine trees, and this ecosystem will, will bounce back. It'll take some time. We're five years into it right now. We've got these popple trees right now, and but secondary succession. This is when one ecosystem arises from another ecosystem. And uh, this is a great place to see it, is this after the aftermath of this Ham Lake fire. All right, I'm back. I wanted to show you this. I just came down this trail. This is maybe about, oh, a uh, hundred paces from where I just was. And here they are. They're back. These are the big pine trees, the big jack pines, the fir trees. These are, this is a jack pine right here. I'm not a great tree um, identifier.
but this looks like a little spruce tree. It smells like a spruce tree. Like I know what a spruce tree smells like. But these are all the trees and the they're being helped by this guy right here who is a humongous fungus. Yeah, I just said that. And it is taking care of de de decomposition of all the tree litter on the forest floor. And they're all over the place. Decomposers everywhere. All right. That's from Sagawa, Saganaga Lake. I cannot pronounce this. Uh, this is your teacher, Mr. Rife, saying peace. So even I, I have my hoodie on, but it's honestly it's it's not raining. I just wanted to kind of give you some sort of indication that uh, yeah the weather was you know it was windy here a while ago, but I I, I guess it's not much. You know, the sun's actually shining, but the weather. And these small little species, these uh, these pioneer species. Now we we should introduce that. The lichens are called pioneer species, and they start to break down the rock and create this organic layer so that we can have grasses and and other you know trees and things like that. So this is my little video that I'm making with my phone, and I'm done. So. Ooh.